Hello, Mioni here, and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV. You join me here in the mist, which means we're looking at another housing item. As you can see there, the Moonfire Fair is coming towards an end now. Uh, sad reminder with all the fireworks, a beautiful shot I wanted to just share that with you. Yes, that final explosion with the Meteor logo. Absolutely love the Moonfire Fair. It's going to be sad to see it gone for another year. But here we are in the mist, and of course, we're looking at a new housing item added in patch 5.3, and this one is the Wooden Staircase Bookshelf. I was going to make a uh, sort of a room with this myself, and I thought, well, we might as well do a video on the item like we usually do. It says, it's a versatile book storage that doubles as tiered shelving for other knickknacks. It's the wooden staircase bookshelf. It will be basically a basic level 80 woodworking recipe. So nothing too crazy. And take seven lignum vitae lumber, five stone gold ingots, and one stack of tomes. So pretty easy to do. It's got a recommended craftsmanship of 1866, which, you know, isn't really that hard of a thing to obtain. And yeah, it's, it's pretty easy to make, honestly. Uh, people have been making these quite easily and making quite a bit of gill off of them. Um, I don't know how much gill you'd make these days now. Uh, probably week one, you'd make a lot more. But let's go and have a look at this item then. Um, sorry for my really messy inventory. So yeah, it the, the implications I want from this item is the idea of a staircase that I can use with lofts. So that's something I want to actually address in this video. I've literally, this is the first time um, I've seen this myself. So this is a first impressions. I like to do live videos nowadays. It's quite fun. Uh, I think you'll agree it's, it's better to have less scripted stuff sometimes on the channel. Here we are then. So this is the actual bookcase. Well, wow, that's a lot bigger than I expected. Um, let's have a look at this then, pan around it and see what we could do with it. Let's uh, have a look there. Let's get it in frame. There we go. So on the front then, we've got loads of books and including a planter there. Uh, some kind of like succulent growing on the middle shelf there. Some red books that look like the Encyclopedia Eorzea book uh, by the spines. Yeah. And then on the side, we've got this nice solid, it's like a uh, a character width, I would say. Character width? Yeah, it's about a character, like a big character's width there. So it won't look awkward if you do decide to, to use this as stairs. And then on the other side, it's actually reversed as well. This is a good thing. Uh, sometimes you don't want angles to be, you know, just that angle. Especially if you're making a loft to the left, for example, it's nice that it's been reversed. It is literally 100% reversed as well. It's got the same books and things. So as much as this is designed to be flush against a wall, of course, you could have it like that as well. Like that. And um, obviously you'd see both sides in different rooms or different parts of that partition, which is pretty useful. I quite like this item already. Uh, it's not too big. But then I don't really know if I'd want it any bigger than this. Of course, uh, this is a diable item, so let's go through a few of those for you. Let's show you what dyes look like. So, looks quite nice in white. You've got this wood grain effect, as you would expect. Uh, dark colours are obviously going to be less noticeable. Ooh, Dalamud looks nice. A bit of ruby there. Incredibly bright. Nice pink there. It does quite well. Obviously, a lot of people will be sticking to the browns, though, uh, for different types of wood, you know, like oaks and beach and the rest of it depending on what the theme is of your room obviously people like to match things with the walls myself included uh, yellow looks pretty cool actually i mean this is quite a nice item standalone you could of course use this as a shelving piece for tabletop items like they recommend but the thing that's actually on the tip of my tongue is the question is, A, can we use this as stairs and does it work effectively with lofts? So let's answer that straight away. That's the thing that I want to do with this item. So let's answer that straight away. Let's plop this. Let's, oh, let's just stick it here, yeah? Just stick it here. Uh, snap to grid this, rotate this round. So it's relatively flush. I'm not that bothered. Um, do we actually have a loft in storage i believe we should have again doing this live so i'm not really sure what we have i did store a lot of stuff in here before got lots of charlene cabinets there maybe page two <laughs> any minute now i'll find one there we go wooden lofts i knew i'd put some in earlier oops so let's whack one of these on the wall then there we go a bit higher than that right so obviously this is rough. This isn't exactly what we would want to do. Um, 
but I want to see how well this holds up and if we can use it as stairs, because I do like the idea of building a loft in maybe my own house. So we're outside a housing menu now. Does it work as stairs? Yes, it does. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Obviously, you know, having things flush together would be a good idea, wouldn't it, Mioni? That's answered one of my particular questions, because obviously currently we have a few staircases, but not many, uh, to be honest. And it is nice when they add more of them to the game. This could be quite useful for a small house. Clipped it a little bit there accidentally, but you see what I mean? This is a fully functional staircase as well as a shelving unit. I've, you know, I've got that like too close, haven't I? I've got myself stuck. So it does have limitations, obviously, depending on where you put it. I've put it in a really stupid place here. But um, as you can see, flawless, absolutely flawless or not. Why can't I go up it now? What have I done? <laughs> okay, now it's sort of... Oh, I see. So in run mode, it works fine. But for some reason in walk mode, you get stuck on the object. That's unusual. I didn't think that was a thing. Hmm. But you can run up and down. It, it acts quite well, which is cool. Um, I just wish that that was a little bit more fluid. Jeez, that's... It's kind of crazy, isn't it? But that's how the game is, you know, based on its limitations. But it's a cool alternative to a set of steps, obviously, if you wanted to use it like that and have it flush against a wall, which is the whole purpose of it. And I'm quite thankful for that. Um, I'll probably end up using this to make loft conversions in other parts of either this house or my private house. So that's nice to notice. Die as well and acts as an actual thing. So obviously the other part about this is that you can place things on it, right? That's the point. So we've got a terracotta pot here that will do as a temporary item to see. Snap and surface placements on. Maybe not. This is a floor item. Yeah, I don't think that's a tabletop item. I'm a complete idiot. I could have sworn that was a tabletop item. Isn't it a tabletop item? No. Okay. I'm sorry about that. I'm completely forgetting what a table... Here we go. Let's just use one of these lights as a good idea. So yes, it does work then as a tabletop thing. It's just I was using a floor item. One of the few items I could have chose as a demonstration turned out to be a floor placement. Looking pretty good though, as you can use this as, you know, storage, of course, as shelving. But most people will obviously be using this as decorative uh, ways to get to places... Um, without the use of just normal stairs. It does look quite nice. Actually, I can imagine this in a study looking pretty good. But yeah, that's pretty much the video. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm thankful that you can, of course, use it as a shelf as well as an actual staircase. Um, there's lots of really cool items like this. And of course, there are much better uses than I've shown off here in this demonstration. But you get the idea. I thought these videos were better actually just showing the item rather than just messing with uh, furniture preview. Because obviously with furniture preview, you can't jump around on it and play around. So hopefully this has helped at least one of you out there. And uh, thank you kindly for watching. Let me know what you think about this item, if you've used it yourself yet. Or if you've made any gill off of it. And I'll see you all next time. Much love.